Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jake Paul, the one and only, and welcome to another high-octane episode of Fame Flame. You know how we do it. We're turning up the heat on your favorite celebrities, diving into the fiery depths of their scandals, success stories, and everything in between. This ain't your mama's gossip show. We're turning the dial up to 11 and setting the celebrity world on fire. Uh, buckle up and prepare to get roasted because the fame flame is about to burn brighter than ever. Let's get into it. Jake, I got to tell you, watching you fight is like watching a dog walk on its hind legs. It's unnatural, kind of cute. And every once in a while, you fall flat on your ass. Jake, your reputation as a professional boxer is kind of like your hair. You know it's there, we know it's there, but it just doesn't look right. I mean, I've seen more authentic things in a wax museum, and the way you're constantly switching from YouTube to boxing, it's like you can't decide which career you want to ruin next. I've seen better career choices on an episode of Jersey Shore. Jake, you're like a magic show where the only trick is disappearing money. Seriously, who's advising your finances, MC Hammer? Look, I have nothing against you, Jake. I mean, you're doing something I could never do. I mean, literally, I could never do it because it's just too damn embarrassing. You're like the human equivalent of clickbait. You promise a lot, but at the end of the day, all we get is a video of you throwing a pool party or insulting someone who can actually box. But let's not forget your rap career. I've heard better rhymes in a Dr. Seuss book. And by the way, Cat in the Hat called. He wants his dignity back. All right, all right, let's calm down and give Jake some room here. He needs space to continue his ego trip to Mars. Uh, Jake, I hear Elon Musk has a few tips on that. And speaking of trips, Jake, your boxing matches are like a trip to the dentist. They're uncomfortable, painful to watch, and in the end, I'm not sure who got hit harder, your opponent or my sanity. Your idea of a knockout punch is about as powerful as a vegan's argument in a steakhouse. And your boxing stance, let's just say I've seen more stable legs on a newborn deer. Now, I understand why you took up boxing. I really do. I mean, you got tired of getting hit by the harsh realities of life. So you decided to get hit in the ring instead. It's inspiring in a weird, uh, masochistic kind of way. Remember, Jake, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. So, in your case, we're dealing with a chihuahua with delusions of being a Rottweiler. Your fights are like watching two kids arguing over who farted first, full of noise but little substance. But don't worry, Jake, there's a silver lining here. You've proven that not all clowns wear makeup and big red noses. Some of them wear boxing gloves and call themselves YouTubers. Now, let's be fair. Your influence isn't all bad. I mean, without you, how would kids today learn about the ancient art of being a jackass? You're a real pioneer, Jake. Keep breaking those barriers. You know, Jake, it's not that I don't admire you. I mean, you've got the sort of courage that most people don't. That courage to wake up every morning, look in the mirror and say, Today I'll make a fool of myself again. And you know, Jake, you're like a broken clock. Not because you're right twice a day, but because even when you're not working, you're still annoyingly loud. Jake, you've turned boxing into a modern Shakespearean tragedy. In other words, a bunch of people get hurt, the audience is confused, and in the end, we all wish we were watching something else. Jake, you've got the agility of a sloth on sedatives, the precision of a blindfolded dart player, and the charm of a weak old tuna sandwich. You're a real triple threat. You know, Jake, I'd say your boxing career is like watching paint dry, but that's not fair to the paint. At least the paint leaves a lasting impression. Your understanding of boxing is like a flat earther's understanding of geography. It's not that you don't get it. It's that you're so adamantly wrong. It's hilarious. The way you dodge a punch is reminiscent of a newborn giraffe trying to avoid a puddle. It's a mix of awkward stumbling and inexplicable flailing. But keep at it, Jake. You're doing what many thought was impossible, making boxing the second most embarrassing thing you've done right behind your music career. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Paul, the man who found a way to make us miss the good old days of reality TV. If nothing else, Jake, you're a testament to human endurance, not your endurance. Ours for tolerating you. Well, there you have it, folks. Another scorching episode of Fame Flame coming to a close. Thanks for being with us as we stoke the fires and turn the heat up on the world of the rich and famous. Remember, in the fame flame, no one is safe and nothing is off limits. Before we extinguish the flame for today, don't forget to smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We've got plenty more kindling to throw onto the fire and you don't want to miss a single spark. So until next time, keep it sizzling, keep it real, and remember, 
We're all just one step away from the fame flame. This is Jake Paul signing off. Stay fiery, my friends.